Hey guys, Rovers25, welcome to another video. Um, this is going to just be a real kind of short, informal one, uh, I hope. But uh, really, um, as the title would say, uh, this is just kind of like uh, a, a quick little video tutorial on how I mounted my Kraken uh, G12 water cooling AIO bracket to my Vega 56, which is not an officially supported card. Um, please keep in mind that this is at your you know own risk if you decide to try to attempt to duplicate this in any way I don't you know officially endorse it that this is 100% compatible and won't damage your card so again do it at your own risk but this is how I ended up doing it so uh, I right here I have my MSI Airboost uh, Vega 56 uh, this is to my knowledge a reference design card um, and really there's only about three things that you need to do for this mod one you have to modify the card by um, cutting out the uh, the holes that the um, original um, heat sink would uh, mount to to fit some new bolts. Two, you have to get some new bolts. And three, you have to modify the G12 adapter a little bit. So I'll kind of like show you guys all that real quick. So first up is the card itself. So if I flip the card over here, um, on the back, you see the, uh, you still see the pattern for the original um, cooler bracket. We don't use the cooler bracket. All I do is use the, the bolts. But uh, the four holes here have to be kind of like reamed out. And the way that I ended up doing that was I just used an X-Acto knife. I stuck the X-Acto knife in the hole and I just kind of reamed it in a circle. And then I took the bolts, which uh, these bolts are um, uh, M4 by 0.7 bolts. And I just kind of tried seeing if the bolt would go through the hole. And if it did, I was like, awesome. And if I had one and it didn't, so like, let's say I try putting it in this one, which is not one of the mounting holes, but you can see that it doesn't go through. I would just say, okay, I'd stick the X-Acto knife back in, ream it like two circles, and see if the bolt would go through. So I did that with all of the holes um, until I was able to stick all of the bolts through the, the mounting, the original mounting holes. And on the on these, actually... Um, you can see that I have a plastic washer. Now, the plastic washer was part of the Kraken G12 kit, and I put those on just because I, I wanted to. I don't really think they're necessary, but considering that these are metal bolts going near other kind of like electronics, I thought it would just be a good idea to do that. So I just kind of did it um, just to be on the safe side. So anyway, once you get all of the bolts through, and I scoot this out the way. Sorry, I'm trying to do everything here one-handed, and I flip this over. You can see that I have the four bolts through the original four mounting points for the air cooler. Now on the Kraken G12, really the only thing that you need to modify, and let me put this out of the way, uh, really the only thing that you need to modify to get this to mount compatibly, if I can get this unstuck, my fan header just got stuck in the fan, there we go, is um, Dremel out with, it doesn't matter what cooler you install in this thing, um, I happen to have a Corsair H110, which is a 280 millimeter rad installed, and I uh, replaced the uh, stock fan, which is why I have this all disassembled currently. I just replaced the stock fan with a Noctua A12 or A9 fan because uh, I wanted something that was a little bit, little bit quieter at the same RPM. Um, but here's here's the the H110, you know, the bottom component of it that would contact the silicone on the card, and you can see that. There's two holes here, one, and then there's one that looks like I dremeled it. That's because I did. So the, the two holes that are there by factory, the one that is closest to the, the cooler, um, you have to kind of like dremel it out a little bit so that the clearance is just right. Because this was really close, and I don't understand why they don't just modify this themselves at the factory and just make this compatible. But all you really have to do is just kind of dremel that out a little bit so that the clearance between the hole here and the hole on the GPU that you know is the mounting point for the bolt that would clear this um, needs to be just a little bit wider. So all I did was just stick a Dremel in there with a like a diamond tipped cutting wheel, um, just Dremel it a little bit, Dremel it a little bit on all four sides. Now it fits just fine, and pretty much all you have to do is once you you know get your card, put it here, grab this, mount it on top, and you're done. Um, now the way that I chose to tighten these down was I had steel washers and uh, steel nuts obviously for the steel bolts like I said I have the plastic washers on the bottom because it's near elect electrical components but the only thing that contacts 
over here would be um, the copper plate contacting the HBM and the, the silicone die for the GPU itself. So really on the top on the top side of this, obviously this is the bottom on the top side, um, once the bolt clears, I just stick the washer on top of the bolt and then I stick the nut on, tighten it down, and I just tighten them down. I don't I couldn't find any major details about how tight you're supposed to make these, but I just tightened it down as tight as I could with my fingers, not using any tools because I didn't want to risk cracking the silicone components. Um, as tight as I could with my fingers and then I just basically installed it in my PC see if it worked I had really great temps and I was like okay awesome I was happy with it so that's pretty much just how I did my cooling uh, mod with my Kraken G12 on my Vega 56 so I really hope it helps someone um, mine's pretty simple I've seen some other ones where people do different methods but this is the method I chose it was really kinda low cost all I had to do was buy four bolts at a hardware store it cost me like two dollars um, and I just bought the bracket, and I had this, the cooler anyway just kind of sitting in the closet. So this was a like kind of like no-brainer for me. So it cost me like, you know, $10, $10 or less to water cool my graphics card now. Um, oh, and the only other thing you have to do um, is just put some a little, uh, like, aluminum heat sinks on the VRMs. So I just used some Raspberry Pi heat sinks, and I cut them down with a Dremel, and I stuck them on the VRMs, and uh, pretty much you're done after that. So anyway, I um, hope this helps someone. Uh, kind of a real informal video. Sorry if it was a little ranty, but hopefully it helps someone. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Thanks for watching my video. If you like the content, please consider becoming a supporter on Patreon, and remember to subscribe to me on YouTube and my new library channel, where you can watch all my content on a non-YouTube platform. Also, remember to follow me on Twitter so that you can stay up to date whenever I go live or post new content. All links in the description. Thank you. Have a good rest of your day.